Hi everybody, in this video I want to go through the latest changes in the game. In the last video we covered the scrolling background, where we now have two scrolling backgrounds, and I've started to separate the game into two different screens. Right now we have the home screen, and then once we press space to start, we'll have the gameplay screen. If you want more details on how I'm rendering the text and how I handle the transition between the two screens, those uh, are found in two other videos, and I'll link to those down below as well as at the end of this video, so be sure to watch them if you want more detail. I won't cover them in uh, so much here, but you will see them in action. So all of this starts on the home screen, of course. If we go to our game struct where we uh, initialize some of the things, the screen is defaulting to the screen home. Screen is a new enum that I added. We have home and play right there. And as the game is playing like it is right now, we render these messages and we listen for the space bar. And that is in, of course, our keyboard events. So that starts in our game loop here. Normally, space bar fires a weapon, uh, but if we're on the home screen, and only if we're on the home screen, we will uh, react to the space bar pressing once. So first thing we do is we hide that, that message, press space to start. So that's the is render subtitle equals false. And then we begin two animations. The beginning stage animation uh, takes care of setting the player to invincible and when the player will actually appear on the screen and then when the invincibility will be turned off. The fade animation is what handles the fading out of the stars and the fading in of the next gameplay screen. And again, I covered that in detail in another video. But for now, I'll show you the animation frames for the fade animation where we're taking care of our uh, overlay that is black. It gets gradually more and more black to fade out. Then it stays black for a second and it starts to go away so that the other scene will start to fade in. Our game start animation. Uh, let's see, that is right up here at the top of our create animations uh, function here at the top. Here we go our game stage animation, there we go. Begin stage, there we go, begin stage animation. Our first frame right there sets the invincibility to true and we change the screen right here. So while everything's black and the timing is carefully coordinated with the fade out and fade in, when everything's black, the screen is changed to the play screen and then we turn off invincibility when we're ready to start playing and the player can take damage. So I'll just uh, click onto the, the game here. I press space, you see the message disappears, the stars fade out, the purple nebula starts to fade in, and then we can start to play. And here we have our death message. Oh no, fade out, fade in with a loading. So again, we're, we don't really have to change the, the background in that case, but we are handling that transition when we uh, when we get hit so let's see where we're doing this is right here so this is where the player has died we're going to restart the game and we go through our two animations that uh, start to reset everything and then we have our fade animation on top of that now to handle the different screens really i just had to uh, wrap every everything that renders the player and the drones and that we had to wrap that in the screen play so we've got that right there, let's see. There we go. So if the screen equals screen play, this is where we're doing all the code that we've already been through in previous videos, rendering our lasers, our player, collision detection, all of that. And at the end of that, um, that's when we uh, check for other animations and render title and things like that. Because these are uh, the title, uh, these are different things that will render uh, outside of that check. It'll be on any screen, right? So that's all there is for part 11 of this game, just starting to divide everything into two different screens. If again, you want more details on rendering text and handling these transitions and the animations, I go over those two things in much more detail in the other videos that I'll link to. So click on those, they're somewhere around here, um, and uh, go check those out. Thanks.